Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Shereen Hagazi. I'm a chiropractor here in Fairfax. Uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to watch my video. Uh, today's video is going to be about neck pain and whiplash. And specifically what I'm going to demonstrate is a uh, stretch to two specific muscles that will help the flexibility and range of motion. And flexibility and range of motion is really important when it comes to these type of injuries because you'll find with neck pain and whiplash that when range of motion is lost, it can lead to other symptoms such as headaches, and numbness and tingling in the arms, and muscle spasms in the neck that all result from the trauma and go along with the, tr the swelling and inflammation that can happen in uh, the connective tissue in the neck. So I'm going to demonstrate those specific stretches on those muscles and we'll see if we can get some value out of those stretches, okay? So the first muscle I'm going to stretch is her levator scapulae muscle and we're going to stretch the left side. So basically what I'm doing when I'm stretching this specific muscle is I'm rotating her neck to the opposite side and pressing down on her left shoulder. This stretch the left levator scapula muscle. So I would hold that stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds, possibly longer, uh, depending on the patient's tolerance and uh, the spasticity of the neck at that specific moment because if I see a patient who, let's say, has a car accident and I see them two days later or even that same day, obviously their inflammation and swelling might be a lot more intense and severe than someone who I'm seeing two weeks later. So obviously the stretch is going to be geared towards that specific patient and the level of their injury at that specific moment. Um, but now, also, the second muscle we're going to stretch is their upper trapezius muscle on that side. So basically I would do the same exact motion, but we're rotating our head to the same side this time. And again, following all those same principles I just described in terms of gauging the intensity, engaging the timing of the injury, and all the other factors as well. And we would actually uh, assess in between the stretches to see uh, the amount of range of motion acquired during the initial stretch, and then switch gears to the opposite side. And again, uh, to stretch the levator scapula on the right, I would turn her head to the left, to the left and press down on her right shoulder. And again, we would assess uh, the range of motion acquired during this specific stretch and move on to the next stretch. And I would hold it uh, according to the intensity of the injury and, the, and the, the day that she's in. And again, we're stretching the upper trapezius muscle on this side, so we're rotating her head towards the, the, the right side. And again, we would hold that based on specifically the, uh, the, intense, the intensity of her injury and uh, the specific uh, level or in her, at, the, at the time of her injury. So really, ultimately what the goal of this video was to show that increasing the range of motion of a specific muscle will allow a person to have the flexibility to do certain exercises to uh, strengthen muscles and ultimately recover from those symptoms that the injury entails. So, such as the swelling and the inflammation. So I hope you found this video informative and thank you again for watching.